today I will vote yes on the balanced budget amendment and send it to the states for ratif ratification and consideration. Mr. President, I would yield for it. Uh, reserving the right to object, I just want to... For a committee to meet during today's session of the Senate, it has the approval of the Democratic leader. I ask unanimous consent that this request be agreed to and that this request be printed in the record. And this constitutional amendment does not require this body to do one blessed thing until the year 2002. We may do it, but there isn't anything in this thing that requires it. My amendment would require it now, not 2002. Not after the Republicans have spent another $471 billion. That's what the contract calls for between now and 2002. $471 billion in additional tax cuts and defense spending, and then, and then, we'll start talking about balancing the budget. It is the biggest scam ever perpetrated on an unsuspecting nation. Without objection, so ordered. Mr. Mr. President, the Senate, I would urge my colleagues to vote for the amendment, and assuming, as I do assume, that the amendment uh, will be part of this constitutional amendment, then I will vote for the final passage on the constitutional amendment, and I urge my colleagues to join in that effort. Thank you, Senator. The Senator from South Dakota. Mr. President, uh, there were a number of people who have expressed concerns about... A There's no one piece of legislation we can pass this year or any year to come that's more important than this <coughs> balanced budget amendment, and I hope we pass it today. It's for the good of America. It's for the good of our country, and we ought to do it without delay. With it. What I think is wrong with it is that it may give a little extra impetus to our reducing the deficit, but it also runs the risk of turning recessions into near depressions and of turning federal judges into budgeteers. Are we ready? Sure. We're more than ready, right? What? <laughs> Mr. Harris, how are you doing? The, uh, the effort to achieve ratification uh, of the amendment to the Constitution is likely going to take some time. State legislators, legislatures will consider that over the course of coming months and likely into next year. <laughs> And I think it is a safe bet that the President of the United States will be on the stump and during the course of 1996. A range of uh, foreign affairs topics. Uh, the President, I believe, tomorrow night will outline that argument in greater detail, the importance of engagement.